Roy has a rat burg. It's a dump, a bonfire, a trash heap that grows, gets a bit smelly Not and bad. then springs into life. Oh, a smack on the money. Yeah, at the top of the five bar gate, yeah? It's been a bountiful year for these special rodents. Roy is constantly chipping away, but maintains that poison is oh, yeah, a no-no. Yeah, yeah, got you. Because obviously we've got the birds of prey here, and you know we're, we're surrounded by wild owls and wild birds of prey as well, so we don't put any poisons down, so we don't use any rodenticides because you can get the problems with um, secondary poisoning. So most of our rat control is done by shooting with the air rifles and trapping. Yeah. We've got a new digital night vision that we've, uh, we've put on the FX tonight and obviously I've, I've been using thermal that we can interchange on this and on my centre fires as well. But I've been really keen to see the, the progression of some of the digital night visions that have come along and this looks like a, an absolutely superb little bit of kit from Pulsar and this is a Digex N450. I've not tried it at all, we've not even zeroed it yet, so put it on, got it all squared up. So we're going to do a quick bit of zeroing and then hopefully we can shoot some ratties. So in best field sports style we're going to draw ourselves a little rat target on here and I want to make sure that we're able to hit um, a headshot 30-40 yards every time. Um, I'm going to zero about 30 yards and then for, yeah, for what we're doing tonight that should be about perfect so anything from sort of yeah, 15 out to 40 or 50 um, we should be pretty much on the money. So let's have a go at drawing a nice little ratty. Uh, a little bit damp. There we go. And we can do a little tail out the back. There you go. See? A little ratty. Like a, like a finger bob. Like a finger bob. Blimey. Oh no, no actually mouse and the mouse organ. Yeah, there we go. Bagpuss. So, no, we're going back. Didn't have a crosshairs on the middle of his head though. <laughs> this is a very special one. It takes just 10 minutes for Roy to get the Digix zeroed and we are good to go. Okay, so you can see I'm just coming down with the adjustments where we're just slightly above and then you can see that hole there so the larger hole we just put three pellets through there so I'm quite happy with that one and I think it is time to go and find some ratties no, not yet the thing is Roy is spoilt he's been using thermal for all his foxing and ratting for a few years now It'll be interesting to see what he thinks of this latest generation of NV. I think this is going to be absolutely superb for putting on the centre fires and going out playing with the foxes because that really does look absolutely superb. I'll just play with the IR and just see what that does. Well, the bonfire is busy and Roy starts making an impression. Yeah, the thermal night vision arguments, there's lots of fors and against. Um, identification is a lot easier with night vision. Um, but if you're using night vision a lot, then the animals do definitely get used to IR illumination. So we've seen that with rats and we've seen that with foxes. Um, but on a, a virgin population of, of rats here with IR, Again, they don't know what it is, um, you know, there's something flashing about, but after two or three nights of doing this, then, you know, the surviving rats would certainly be cute and aware of it. Um, so then we could, we could pop back to thermal, but as I say, it's, uh, it really is very, very impressive at the moment using it tonight. And again, I just want to take it out and try it on some yeah. boxes again, because I think it's going to work superbly. With the rats right. becoming less enthusiastic to break cover, we look around the rest okay. of the garden. One rat even charges. Well, that's how a tabloid newspaper would describe it. That's coming straight out of us. Oh no, that's about to shoot you quick. I tell you what, I'm more, I'm more scared of a charging rat than I am a charging buffalo. Do you see the size of the teeth on it? How are you using the FX on tonight? Uh, I think it's chucking out around about 30 foot pounds. So, yeah, for rats it's just absolutely devastating. But for pretty much anything it's absolutely devastating. It's a fantastic little air rifle and so versatile. Charlie now joins us and puts some bait on the bonfire to coax out the rats. 
he's also got a thermal spotter with him, which surprisingly reduces our effectiveness. Okay. He's got his head stuck, go back now. Oh, I forgot to zoom in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the thing yeah. is, the thermal sees stuff the night vision doesn't. So Charlie ends up directing Roy into targets that are invisible to the NV. No, that was good fun. It's interesting going back to night vision after having used the thermal for so long. Brilliant fun, superb clarity. But when you've got overhanging branches, then you get a lot of reflection on the IR, and the IR is obviously not penetrating underneath, so it's, it can be quite difficult to, to get the images. So as a, an affordable option um, for yeah. bat yeah. shooting and for everything else, I think it's absolutely brilliant, but I won't be giving up my thermal. The image quality of this unit is clear, and when we head out foxing with it, we may have to leave the thermal comfort blanket at home. For more about the Pulsar Digex, go to thomasjacks.co.uk.